Hey everyone, thanks for being back here. This is the third video that I've created. I've started a new Nuxt project, and in the first video, I made sure to set up VTest and uh, the Nuxt app, I guess. Um, just initialize it and run my first test. The second video, I modified the VTest configuration for Nuxt environments. Uh, in this video, I want to solve another problem, which is uh, I was thinking to go with Prettier and Lint, but learned recently of this new thing called Biome, and uh, apparently it's faster, and it does the job of both Linting and Prettier formatting. And so I'm going to try it. This video, I'm going to install it in my project and, and configure it, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. I have not done this before. So let's look at my to-do list. I've done that. I was going to do prettier config and linting, but let's just say setup and configure biome JS. Biome JS, a new thing. Here we go. On my screen, I have the biome getting started guide. I'm literally just going to read it and go through it and uh, and do as they say. So the first thing is to add biome to my project. I've never used this uh, save exact flag, but I think I really like it. <laughs> if you know me, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm, I'm very particular about the versions that I use in my package JSON file, and so I, I quite like that. So I think what this has done is it's created a, a, a link here to Biome 1.9.3, and so that's in my package manager now. And I can close package JSON. I've got, this. it ran a post install script. Here we go. I guess the next step is to initialize the biome configuration. And I presume what's going to happen is a little bit of a wizard here. Let's see. So it added a, a file here for uh, biome.json. Uh, next step, set up an editor extension. Hit live errors as you type. I will check out the uh, integrate in the editor guide. All right, I was getting worried because I was reading this, this page about how to integrate biome in an editor extension and I was confused what is an LSP proxy and why would I need a daemon and anyways I then found another page at their website which is a nice VS code extension let's look for that the biome toolchain for the web install like magic so what does this do the visual studio code extension brings first party support to biome to VS code and similar editors Format on save, great inline suggestions with quick fixes and refactoring. Installation, setting as the default formatter. Set the VS Code extension for Biome as the default formatter. Follow the steps below. Open the command palette. Format document. Nope, that didn't work. Open the command palette. Format. I'm not finding this. I'm not finding step number two. Configure default formatter. Select Biome. Do I need to restart? Do I need to switch to the pre-release version? Auto update should be fine, should be fine. So if I format document with, there is no formatter for Markdown files, install the formatter. Nope, not gonna do that. Let's go to our preferences, extension settings, format, default formatter, biome, format on save, yeah. and we should be good to go. Wow. So if I now go to our markdown file and click save, just run. Did the formatter just run? It did. just ran. I clicked save and all of the spaces turned to tabs. Awesome. And it's giving me some linting uh, stuff because of my quotes, I suppose. It doesn't like my quotes. I like those quotes. I'm going to configure this to use those quotes. I don't like the trailing semicolon, so I'm going to have to get rid of that stuff. Let's go find out how to configure biome and see if there's other there are, try a command biome check let's try that so according let's just here so i want to follow the instructions here try a command number two over here so let's go biome check biome not found project configuration let's go check take a look at our project configuration should i not be able to run from the command line well i need to figure out how to run the biome check when clearly I'm not able to yet. I'm going to run through the configuration. Configuration. All right. We should ignore, should ignore everything 
that starts with a dot. Certainly. I wonder if anyone has created a biome configuration for Nuxt. Well, maybe I can't run biome because I don't have a CLI. Manual installation. Interesting. Biome formatting is working in as an extension in VS Code right now, but I'm not able to run. So is there a script? So it's in my project, but I don't know what it's doing in my project right now, other than I was able to write, I was able to run an uh, the initializer. I can do a check there. So I don't need the CLI. I actually can just run it uh, as an NPM script. For example, I could go here and say check biome check. I'll keep it as check. Fair enough. I think I need to exclude some folders though. It's just checking way too many files here. All kinds of files that I don't want it to. So anything in the .nuxt folder I should exclude. Let's go to biome.json. Ignore. What if I do that? Output. And I should ignore public. There. I think I've narrowed the field. Good. All right. Let's do this in alphabetical order. Right, and before P. Use ignore file. That's interesting. So I've got git ignore, and that's already in there. I should just use ignore file, if that works. Oop, I don't know what that does. Use ignore file, it didn't seem to do anything. Now, the formatter, enable true indent style tab, thank you. Quote style, I actually don't want that. Quote style, what do I make a back tick? Can I enforce that? Quote style can only be one or the other. I don't like that. Let's clean up some of the errors that I'm seeing. So the last error, formatter would have printed the following content, single. So let's go to that file and change this to single quotes. That cleans up the last error. I don't want the trailing semicolons. Go back to the formatter as needed. What are the possibilities here? Single, all right, great. I like this. Nuxt config, where's that file? There we are. Ah, there are more to find here. We're getting there. Nope, can't do that. Tab, and we're done. So Biome is installed. VS Code is using Biome as an extension. I've checked all of my code with Biome. So PMPM PM check, and everything is working fine. I've excluded the appropriate folders from the Biome configuration. I've changed the semicolon behavior and the quote style behavior. Let's commit the code and move on. Biome installed and working and configured, let's say. Now, as I wrap up, let me just say, I like that. I like that it's one tool, one configuration file, a simple extension, one simple module to install, rather than Lint, its own extension, multiple modules with various plugins, also prettier with its own configuration file, sometimes prettier and ESLint actually conflict. And this is handy. This is, I like Biome so far. Thanks very much. Moving on, in the next video, what will I do? I think I will try to get a storybook test running, maybe a mock in VTest, and then start, start moving on with the project and building features into my Nuxt app. Thanks very much. Bye for now.